Alright guys, so as most of you probably already know, the filming for Denis Villeneuve's adaptation of Dune by Frank Herbert finished several weeks ago, um, a little over a month ago at this point, and for a while now there has been a rumor going around that one of the characters from the books will be gender swapped in the movie. So in this video I'm just going to give you guys some of my thoughts on this. Now. From what I can gather, this is coming from a website called Bounding Into Comics, and this is from a writer named John F. Trent. Um, and I guess I will read for you guys what the article says, and then I will tell you my personal opinion on what is being said on the article, and my personal opinion on Leia Kynes potentially being gender-swapped in the film. So, it says here, Denis Villeneuve's upcoming Dune film will gender swap Liet Kynes. So in the book Dune, Liet Kynes is the Imperial planetologist, um, but he's gotten really good with the Fremen, and he is aiding them in the ecological transformation of the planet. So it says here, according to my trusted source, so this is coming from John F. Trent's trusted source, Liet Kynes, the appointed judge of the change during the transition of the planet Arrakis between House Harkonnen and House Atreides, will be a female instead of the traditional male from Frank Herbert's historic Dune novel. And then in this paragraph, John just describes who Leah Kynes is and his role in the book. So skip down, it says, My source tells me Kynes is described as a tall, lean woman in her 40s who exudes pride and intelligence. She has sandy hair and a sun-tanned face and shocking blue eyes of spice saturation. The article goes on to say, While Kynes will be gender-swapped, her role in the upcoming film appears to be the same. She will still be an imperial ecologist and act as the judge of the change as control of the planet Arrakis is handed over to House Atreides. And then the article also goes on to say that Sharon Duncan Brewster will be playing Leah Kynes. Now, she is on the IMDb page, but it does not say which role, and she is an English actor of African descent. So that's pretty much what this article says and I will link it for you guys to check out yourselves down in the description. Now it's time for some of my thoughts. Now what stood out to me immediately was the description of what the character looks like in the movie. So uh, John says his source describes Kynes as tall, lean, in her 40s, exudes pride and intelligence and that she has sandy hair and a suntanned face. I, I'm black, and black people don't really get suntanned. So I don't know how, I don't know if you describe a black person with a suntanned face, because I look at Sharon Duncan Brewster, and she is, she, she's, she's a darker skinned woman. So you wouldn't call that suntanned, you just call that dark skinned. And then also, black people don't naturally usually we don't naturally have sandy hair so unless they went in and changed the color of the actress's hair which doesn't make sense at all then the description that john's source is giving us is totally inaccurate it doesn't make any sense for the actress that you're saying is supposed to be playing the role so right from that that makes me question this a lot now that being said if it's true I think I'm much less upset than a lot of people are. I, I read the comments on this article and then a lot of the mirror articles that just repeat a bunch of the same uh, rumors. And a lot of these comments are not liking this at all. But if I'm being honest, I don't think Liet Kynes is an important enough character to warrant this reaction. I think that if he were to be a female character, that Denis Villeneuve 1 probably has some reason to do that. I saw someone say that perhaps they're changing it so that Chani is the daughter of Stilgar and Kynes, which would actually make a lot of sense because Kynes is an outsider that built a relationship with a Fremen over time and had a daughter. I think it's an easy jump if we're going to make Kynes female that Stilgar, who in the book is a much more important character, would be Chani's father because in some ways he kind of is a father figure for Chani in the books. 
So if Denis Villeneuve is doing this, I think there is a reason for it. I don't think this is propaganda, you guys. I don't think they're trying to push any particular political agenda. I think it was just a choice that if it was made, and this is still a rumor by the way, but if it was made, it was made just to simplify things. But keep in mind, this is unconfirmed. It's unconfirmed, so it's totally not official yet, even though this rumor has been mirrored on many different articles and a lot of people are talking about this. There's been no official statement as to whether or not Sharon Duncan Brewster is playing Leah Kynes or not. She could be playing a totally different character. She could be playing the shout-out Mapes or just anybody. So we, we, we can't just assume that this is true just because some website said it's true because there are a lot of people out there that are for some reason really interested in this movie not succeeding and it's coming from every side that you could believe from the left and the right this film is being attacked and frank herbert's work is being attacked for lots of different all sorts of different reasons and it's crazy so don't believe everything you hear and don't overreact to it and don't automatically assume that someone has an agenda and that there is propaganda going on thank you guys for watching i'll be back on camera in the next video Make sure you like and subscribe for more ideas of Ice and Fire. Peace out.